Mayor Isko Moreno Domagoso eyes moratorium against public utility vehicle modernization program. The presidential bet of Acción Democrática would also deal with ending contractualization issues at a later time. Asher Kadapan Jr. details why live. Yes, Asher. Arlene, the Public Utility Vehicle Modernization Program adds financial burden to operators and drivers as it obliged them to buy new PUVs at their expense. The program was launched by the Department of Transportation in 2017 to phase out old PUVs primarily for the safety and convenience of passengers. But Mayor Isco Moreno Dumagoso says he wants to suspend the program under his watch should he succeed in the 2022 elections. Uh, yung modernization plan, pumanatag na kayo, moratorium na yan para hindi na kayo mag sa bagong uh, uh, sasakyan. Dumagoso, however, vows to carefully study the necessity of increasing PUV fares. The Manila City Mayor explains he needs to balance the demands of drivers and the impact to the passengers. Meanwhile, the Acción Democrático standard bearer explains that contractualization may be useful in the middle of the pandemic to sustain livelihoods and, the, and businesses. With this, he stands by its initial plan of putting an end to contractualization in the second year of his presidency or earlier. Ang gusto ko lang, okay, while pangarap ng ating mga manggagawa yung maging permanent sila, ha? pero gustuin ko man, oh, bilang galing katulad ng tatay ko, pero also, I'm a very pragmatic man. There is pandemic, marami nagsarang negosyo, the more magsasara negosyo, the more marami magugutom na tao. Arlene, today some labor and transport groups as well as a couple of fraternities officially endorsed Mayor Isco Moreno de Magoso as their presidential bet for the May 9 elections. The Acción Democrático is scheduled to conduct campaign caravan in the cities of Malabon and Caloocan tomorrow. Arlene? Thank you. Asher Kadapan Jr. reporting live.